Shovel Knight King of Cards is the latest release from Yacht Club Games and is another strong entry for this titular saga. The star of this time is the boastful King Knight, the self-entitled ruler, or at least soon to be ruler, of the entire kingdom. This royal adventure will show just how he accomplished such a feat. Shovel Knight King of Cards is the final chapter that completes the Treasure Trove collection. It holds the prestige of being the largest and most robust adventure and honestly feels like a standalone expansion. It helps that there are 4 worlds over 30 levels and an addictive card based minigame included for good measure. As a prequel, players will travel across the untamed lands filled with new opportunities to spread the gospel of the king. However, each of the worlds will provide unexpected and challenging ordeals. It's not easy being a monarch after all and some fierce competition is is lurking and waiting for the perfect opportunity to end your potential reign prematurely. Like with every other campaign in the series, King of Cards plays out very similar to the first game but also introduces new mechanics and content. Night King uses his bash attack to plow through enemies and specific obstacles. He is also equipped with a technique named the Dazzling Spinning Attack. While it would have been fun to just be dazzling and spinning from screen to screen, I understand why the developers tied it to your main attack. The game is all about bashing, bouncing, and bounding. Choosing your movement while rotating can be very strategic and breaking certain chandeliers or other objects will open up new areas and secrets. It's definitely a playstyle that rewards those who explore and take risks. Discovering hidden rooms and precious jewels is as satisfying as always, however there are some bigger changes to Shovel Knight's formula, such as the fact that not every major stage has a final boss, instead there are plenty of bonus-like areas filled with unique challenges. There are also some medals to collect along your way. These look really good on your hero, but they can alternatively be traded for new skills or abilities. To use these new powers, King Knight will need Viger, which is conveniently lying around in all the stages. Mechanically, the game is still comparable to Shovel Knight, Shovel of Hope, but somehow this latest chapter is not as difficult. Outside of gameplay, players can enjoy a new mini game called Joustus. This new fad has swept over the kingdom. It's a fun distraction from the main quest and can be played extensively within the four worlds, each offering several layers of difficulty and a variety of styles. It's a little confusing at first, especially since the style doesn't really act like a normal game such as poker or crazy eights. Yacht Club Games pixel art is iconic. You can spot it immediately as if it was done by a famous artist. This could be due to the atmospheric pine trees or the excellent color palette for terrain. This is a perfect complement to the deceivingly simple yet well thought out level designs. However, like other campaigns in Shovel Knight Treasure Trove, it's easy to notice that some assets are reused. Still, one welcome return is the game's retro soundtrack that relies on simple and melodic tracks. Shovel Knight King of Cards is not only for dedicated fans of the series, but also serves as a great place for newcomers to enter the franchise. The difficulty here is much less punishing than the three campaigns that came before, and the steady learning curve keeps the journey from ever becoming boring. Add Joustus, surprising depth and the multiple collectibles and character builds you can tackle, and there's even more to this full scale add-on to enjoy. This is a must play for Popper and Prince alike. Noisy Pixel is giving Shovel Knight King of Cards an 8.5 out of 10. Thank you for watching. Please read the full review at NoisyPixel.net. Noisy Pixel is run by a group of gamers who work hard to deliver news, reviews, previews, and more. Please subscribe to keep up with all our future content.